Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Random Generator. In this video, I will be showing you my top 5 ZSH productivity tricks. So, uh, as you can see, I have a ZS, uh, ZSH uh, terminal uh, open right there. And let's get started with the first one, which is DIRS-V. Uh, so what that does is it basically uh, gives you the history of the uh, locations that you have visited. So if I run that, as you can see, the, all of the directories that I visited previously uh, is shown right here, which is really useful stuff. And if we move on to the uh, my second tip, which is correlated with that one, is using the history, but using history uh, on your commands rather than your directories. So what you can do is just basically type in history and run that. As you can see, uh, all of the uh, commands that I have executed is listed under there. So if I want to just run one of them, I can uh, basically look up to that command. Let's say we pick clear and we uh, take its dedicated ID uh, in our history, which is uh, seventh index so i pick seven and what i can do is put exclamation mark uh, and plug in seven and run that as you can see it fetched the uh, clear prompt and if i uh, it enter it basically uh, executes the command that i have picked one important thing to mention that if i uh, try that again with set let's say seven as you can see it brings up again if i try that with let's say 17 it's again as you can see picks that up so uh, it is not uh, required for you to execute uh, the history command again and again so it's really useful thing and uh, since we picked up the uh, clear command uh, i can actually show you another trick which is the control l so what that does is it's it is really simple it basically clears up your console and uh, just instead of typing clear every time and then executing it what you can do is again hit ctrl and l and it clears up your console so if you move on uh, to our next step uh, which is the one i think that i've used the most is tab completion it is uh, I cannot uh, stress enough it's super useful so what I mean by that is uh, let's say if I type ls and hit tab as you can see I can get all the uh, commands that start with ls but if I type again ls and per actually you know what I can just move a directory above to demonstrate it even better so let's get yeah so if I press ls uh, right type ls and put a space and now i put tab as you can see i can choose uh, the directories uh, that basically fetched by the ls command it is a really useful thing to have and especially it saves you a lot of time as you can see if i select one uh, it just it chooses and i can uh, go on from there Anyway, uh, let's move on to our final tip, which is the uh, default git aliases. So what I mean by that, let's look at the aliases by typing alias. Uh, and yeah, we actually have many. So let's get all the git ones. So alias. And then we should be doing grab git. There you go. We have many git aliases. But what I've uh, been using multiple times is that they basically those kind of stuff. It, uh, it takes the initial letters of the commands and not actually not always initial letters, but you get the point. You can see clearly they're right there. It is really useful thing instead of saying git add all, you can see G A A and uh, basically execute from it uh, there so uh, that's basically it the, those are my top five uh, zsh commands that i've used frequently and if you like the video please uh, give it a like and consider subscribing to see more content like that see you next time take care